people. Wally Pawans, yeah. And we feel deeply that most people are judging Sizzler from a dance hall stand. Why them shouldn't judge Sizzler from a dance hall stand? Because... If you over here yeah. saw a sing according to you, if you over here saw a sing in a reggae music, a thing where you'd have called righteousness, and then over here saw no, you had sing decadence. Why a man shouldn't wait? Why them shouldn't wait? Why them shouldn't wait? I have put you, that out to you, you know. You can weigh it, Muta. Yeah, yeah but, but weighing uh, it, there is an aspect of the dancehall world that is just a sense of entertainment. So you don't forget about the part that him then? I would say that that should not be the criteria by which one judges. Mm -hmm. But in the matter of judgment, why, why if a man listen to a righteous man a sing something that is deemed decadent. Why is it that you shouldn't rethink your stand and or you see him or you view him? Why is it? Because like if me it, now start if me now depend, if me start make some poetry about this and this and this and this and that. Why is it that a man shouldn't start say blow bad? I'm out to say them thing the rest of me never expect Muta to say them something there. No. A blessed good evening to you, Muta Baruka. Ah, blessed man. Yes, divine one. Ah, the man. So, yes, I am giving thanks and praises to the divine for this moment, just being able to speak to you directly. Yeah. Yes, my beloved. So, Muta Baruka, I am just feeling a divine space of anointment in this moment to say to you, I have been hearing the controversy in Jamaica around Sizzler mm -hmm. and uh, his appointment to the leadership role in Rastafari. To the leadership role in Adenaya being a theocratic oath. Yes. 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 And, you know, Muta Baruka, I am hearing the many criticisms that the Rastafarians have for Sizzler. Mm -hmm. And as I'm listening to the many criticism, I am feeling deeply that in the unrighteousness of any human, there is no other worthy of judging. And in the goodness, there is also no one qualified to judge. And Brother, we're hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I mm. understand what you're saying, Bridget. What you say? What you mean, no? If a man I do something wrong, you can't say him wrong. No, if a man, a, if a, man a thief continuously, you can't say him is a thief. What we're saying, Muta, mm. is that at this given juncture of our evolution, yeah. even the thief, even the murderer, yeah. When we look at unrighteousness in whatever form or shape it takes on, mm. we're saying we need to use the spirit of discernment other than the spirit of judgment. And in the nature of Rastafari, as a people, we just want to put it out there, Muta Baruka, mm. that we want to allow the space for growth. And whatever pathway that Sizzler is on, I would love to declare tonight, non-apologetically, saying, let the spirit of Sizzler be anointed by the gifts of appreciation coming from whoever it is. There is enough good in Sizzler for us to appreciate. And there is a love that I am speaking of in Sizzler for Rastafari. In my observation, hearing him from the beginning to now, and whatever path that he has walked on that people could judge him. I am only saying that there is a love that he has for Rasta, for black people, for black Africa, and he needs the support. I find it to be extremely courageous that 
with all the members of the movement in, in Naya Bingi, young and old, that he should take the stand that he has taken and whatever critical voice that we have for him, we need to allow the space to give more support than tearing down. And in wherever Sizzler is tonight, and whatever support system that he has received, I am just putting it out there that whoever is listening in the name of Rastafari, whether you like Sizzler or not, Sizzler has taken a stand as a youth in the empowerment of Haile Selassie I, in the empowerment of King Emmanuel, in the empowerment So what to the other people them who did stand up, Mr. in the empowerment of Haile Selassie? The same people them who him now declares uh, him at the, the phone. We are saying now... No, who is we? Uh, May I say what to the people them mm -hmm. who was there before who have the authority before him did come there? Okay. The executives of, of the Naya Bingi Council. What okay. to them people there? Okay. Now, Muta, let us look at the elders before Sizzler. No, we are, no we're not talking about the elders before Sizzler. No. We are talking about the people them who mm -hmm. Sizzler declare none and void. The CEO, the, 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 the administration... The, the council of the, 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 the Millennium Council, all of them, have been declared by Sizzler and him friend them as null and void. What to do as people? What you saying okay. about those people? L let us continue to celebrate anyone that takes a stand for the progress of Rastafari. But what I want to put out there again, non apologetically, Muta, is that Sizzler s uh, has been been a force in the movement so these people who was was there wasn't a force in the movement we're not saying that they were not a force in the but, movement so what you're saying some... what you're saying because you're saying sizzler is a force in the movement what we're what saying happened to the new, what happened to the, the elders them who was the authority the the, the authority of the naya bingi house that now, now sizzler that come now and say him is him is him is Whoever they are, yes, are was. There is something about Sizzler, yes. Now, in the there's something of Sizzler that is so potent here and now. Regin, I have heard you say that about many Rasta. And what I, I want have said, I've heard you say, not, this, is, this is not the first Rasta I have heard you say, there's something potent about these people. I am saying to you, what happened to the people them who Sizzler now declared null and void? I am not sure of who Sizzler have declared null and void. This, but the, the ones them who him declared null and void were the ones who were legitimately um, elected by the Naya Bingi Ada. Not a minority, but the Naya Bingi, including the man them who vote for Sizzler. They also were the ones who vote for the ones them who now is declared by Sizzler null and void. Sizzler cannot make the, 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 the Millennium Council. I am not a member of none of these things, but Sizzler cannot make the Millennium Council null and void. Because he is not a member of the, the, the Millennium Council. He do have no authority to do that. Because the Millennium Council is made up of different, different organizations. He, is, he was made the president. He was made the president for one Rasta organization. So he mm -hmm. cannot come round now and make all Rasta organizations null and void. Well, I am not aware of all Well, the you Rasta have to be aware of it before you talk. You have to be aware of it before you talk. Void. I am knowing that he is elected as the head of the Naya Bingi movement. And then him turn around and make every other thing null and void. He make the Naya Bingi, he make the, the, the Millennium Council null You cannot be of one organization, whether you feel that the organization is doing nothing or not doing anything, you cannot make the next organization null and void. 
Because the Million Council is an umbrella organization of 12 tribes, of Bobo, of Naya Bingi. So you, as a head of one organization, cannot turn around and make other organizations null and void. Well, he did not make and has not the authority to make the Bobo Shanti none and, and void. No, I am talking about the Millennium Council. <laughs> there is a report that is put out there by this new president that he has made the farmer council null and void of the Naya Bingi house and also the Millennium Council. I am saying that the only way the Millennium Council can be null and void if a group of people, which is an umbrella, they are, I couldn't be a member of the Millennium Council because I am just an individual that belong to the organization. So one man from one organization over there so can make the umbrella organization of Rasta and Lola and Vide. Unless I'm going to take that up on the maze and a dictator. Well, when you speak of a dictator in the movement... Dictator meaning, say, you're going to come now and say, this is that, this is that, this is that. You, you now have no relevance again. Me done with you. You, over there, so you now have no more relevance. Me done with you, yes. So see the relevance, yes, so right now. This is it. Well, the relevance of Rasta in Jamaica for so long, uh, there is a stand that the Nyabingi movement has taken, and there is a stand that the Bobo Shanti have taken. It would seem as if some of the movement is somewhat null and void. It would seem as if the... the what part of the movement is null and void? Uh, not, I'm saying to you, Muta. You said there's some part of the movement that is null and void. Well, what I part of the movement is null and void? I would be looking at aspect of, say, the Millennium Council as a movement. All right. If the Millennium Council is null and void, you over there so cannot decide that. I you am can't not decide that. that. I am using the term probab uh, probably. Yeah, but I no problem me I deal with Bridget. Me I deal with something really as so no. Me I do no probability. You can't still overconnect the cut and tell me about probability. So me I tell you, say, you can't yeah. over this so and tell me, say, the, the Millennium Council is null and void. I am not saying that. You may not function it. Yeah, but that is, that is what Sizzler do. That is what Sizzler do. And okay, the Bridget, them who are Negus and all them, that's what they make them do. Them, them call the, the, the CEO. And all of the, the administrator of the Naya Bingi Council null and void. And they turn around and say the Millennium Council is null and void. By from what authority are they saying this thing from one organization? If you want to make, if you want to create something in a, your organization and say, yeah, well, you don't want a president again, so you make that null and void. So you come now and you say, well, this are the president me want. Or this are the secretary me want. Uh, this are the treasure me one. That is your thing. But then, now, where you talk about now, the sum total of, of, of this thing. You, Sizzler can't go amongst the bubble, them go tell them, say, them can't allow this and them can't allow that. No, well, Sizzler will not have the authority when it comes to the bubble shanty. Yeah, well, and that may I say, neither the 12 tribe. I am looking at you and I am saying to you, there is aspect of the movement. Yes. Such as the Millennium Council at the Twelve Tribes of Israel, yeah. and it would seem as if the Bobo Shanti and the Naya Bingi at this given juncture seems to be the most stable, functional aspect of the movement. By what? By what authority you say that? I am only speaking within observation. Maybe what, obs I do what not you have observe? The what you observe? It's make you say that. that may I ask you what you observe? Uh, make you say that. Uh, observing mm. how the 12 tribes of Israel and their potency in years past, the active flow of their movement in Jamaica, yeah. I am not sure whether they have their monthly gatherings the way they used to. Mm. I'm not sure if they have the kind of organizational administrative quality as it used to be in the 70s and the probably well obviously them do have them do have that potency but when me i said to you a man over there so who belong to our next organization can come decide the 12 tribe have no put have, have no authority again so i'm going to defunct it uh 
I thought uh, Sizzler was anointed by 12 tribes and no, by buddy, no, Millennium Council Bridget. and by Naya Bingi and uh, by a few Bobo? Bobo Shanties. Look here, look here. That's what I'm saying to you. That you can't still have a to cut this or no. I am and not decide we're going over here. So I have said to you that the sister named Esther, when it was said that Sizzla is the, I know, you know, so the first I ever mentioned this man, no program at all. When it come out, say Sizzla is the head of Rasta, which is that head that go around. Esther come on the radio and say, no one authorized Sizzla for be the head of Bobo. All right. It was said that Sizzla was crowned, coronated as the head of Rasta. Well, I hear Sizzler the panel radio I clarify it and say him is the head of him is the president of the Naya Bingi house. Right? So that is a one house of many houses of Rasta. He never say him is the head of twelve tribe. He never say him is the head of the Bobo. He say him is the president of the Naya Bingi house. Okay. Alright. So whether him did say him is the head of Rasta before what I hear with my ears on the radio, him say him is the head, him is the, him was me the president of the Naya Bingi House. Now, if you is not a part of the Naya Bingi House, unless him is going to turn round, round the corner, and declare now, say, since him is the head of the, the Naya Bingi House, him is the head of Rasta, then no, it's a problem. Because him never said that. Him never said him is the head of Rasta. Him same is the president of the Naya Bingi House. Now, if there's some underlying thing go on where nobody knows, where Sizzla say, yeah, me the head of the Naya Bingi House, that makes me the head of Rasta. Or uh, some people in the Naya Bingi House say, well, if he's the head of the Naya Bingi House, he's the head of Rasta, then it's a serious problem because the both of them don't think that. And most Rasta don't give to that. Now, one is saying that if Sizzla can do what he is doing, Make him do it. But it's me personally now. I cannot stand here and say, Sizzler is the head of Rasta. And then now say, it's like I got now call up on some divine madness to come say divine this and divine that. Because even you, I have heard you said these things, but many you to me see rise up about these things. And then in the bottom line of it, you get the disappointment strike in. So I am not in the euphoria of people rising up and saying that and then now that the bottom line is the bottom line well maybe sizzler needs a support system but sizzler get support system they them not get support system he might get support system from the people them who elect him he might get support from the city i hear sizzler said there's no fundamental difference between bobo and 12 tribe and i said how do you can stand up and say that because i never usually say nothing about it you know I well, said, you know, how do you, you know, can Muta, say there's no fundamental difference when Prince Emmanuel is the God, the well, Black we're Christ? King, we're King Emmanuel, please, appropriately, King Emmanuel. And I speak right now in the authority of King Emmanuel to say, Sizzler could not make the statement that Bobo Shanti and Naya Bingi comes from the same root in the nature of King Emmanuel. Because King Emmanuel has developed an order and a perfect order that if Sizzler is anointed and appointed as a Rasta, Bobo Shanti, then I cannot see Sizzler making a comparison of the Bobo Shanti and the Naya Bingi. There is a whole heap of fundamental difference between the Naya Bingi and the Bobo. Simple. Simple. There's a yes. one, one of the main the, one of the main fundamental difference is that the Bobo them say Prince Emmanuel is the Almighty. The black Christ in flesh. There's no Naya Bingi man going to say that. No Naya Bingi man going to say that. So that is a big fundamental difference. So and you, also, him, him, him can't come on the radio and say that. I mean, him can say it, but it is not true. You see, it is not true. There's a big fundamental difference there. 
Prince Emmanuel is not the Almighty God to the, the Maya Bingy man. The King Emmanuel for the Bobo Shanti hold an order and that order the Bobo Shanti lives a principle lives a dignity in the Rastafari movement that is par excellence and King Emmanuel as a model if Sisla is walking in the footstep of King Emmanuel he is doing excellent for you know yeah you know Sisla as walking in the footstep of Prince Emmanuel you know Muta Baruka, I know Sizzler to take a stand. No, and no, stand that's one quick bridging. Me not talk no judgment, you know. Me just, uh, I, you talk all these things about Prince Emmanuel. I mean, I ask you if you know Sizzler as a man who's walking in the footsteps of Prince Emmanuel. I am not one to judge. That, that, you know, that you say, but say a judge, it's not a judgment. It's not a judgment because like you bring up the walking footsteps, you know. It's you just as say walking in the footsteps of somebody else i never talk about it i never mentioned it, it, I, you are I, it. I, I use the term if sizzla is walking in the footstep of king emmanuel oh. what is the footsteps you are talking about tell me what is the footsteps the 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 the, the, the bylaws that king emmanuel have laid down like what like what africa for the africans that is the a walking if you say that if you say that you're walking in the footsteps because every every uh, every, well, every Pan African is Marcus Garvey man say Africa for Africans. Talk, it's not just talking, Muta. It's working. Yes. So Sizzla, yes. I am not to judge Sizzla's work. Okay. And knowing that Sizzla has space to grow. Yes. And to perfect his being, and to purify his being, and to sanctify his being. I would love the space, the platform, for that to happen. And I feel deeply that holding a post of such authority, you must be very careful with the responsibility because leadership comes with accountability. And so I do not see Sizzler as someone taking on this responsibility this authority and walking in ungodliness walking in the path of impurities and what you call impurities what you call impurities well, ungodliness and all this what you call ungodliness and impurities walking in like what like what you call so i mean you know i hear these terminologies walking in impurities walking in ungodliness what you call that what is that there is a state of uprightness. Impurities, uprightness, and godliness are the same word. If you're walking in the state of truth. What is that, Bridgen? What is that? What is godliness? What is truth? What is uprightness? What is, what is all of these things you're saying him should walk in? Or grow in? What, what is that? What is it? If we, if we want to eliminate the, the word godliness. Our uprightness. What is the uprightness then? I would be looking at the uprightness of Sizzler being right now. Yeah. Taking a stand mm. to wipe away the bondage of white supremacy upon the psyche of black people. Looking at black Africa and wanting this place which is called black africa in your heart in your way of life and rest on the of that which is called black africa in your heart in your way of life and rest on the of that you know them there art, is, and there, them is there there is a space in rastafari mm. that speak of this pathway and the liberty of Rastafari represents that pathway and if the liberty of Rastafari that represents the upliftment and the redemption for black Africa and for black people globally this pathway 
This is what we called, lack of a better term, a godliness. This is what we call an uprightness. And there is a place in Rasta that holds that. And now I feel deeply that Sizzla have this yearning within his being to see a fulfillment. Obviously. Of this walk. Obviously, him of that yearning. Walk. And deeply, he has to be admired. And also, the only thing I want to put out to Sizzler, if Sizzler is listening, is to know deeply within his being that in black Africa, what we're used to is queen mothers anointing man to become king, chiefs. Yeah, well, that not happening in Rasta. So you can't just nobody even talk about that. That not happening in Rasta. Well, Rasta now, get elected by a democratic process with a man or woman involved in it. As a matter of fact, the CEO of the Naya Bingi before it is like come was a woman. And n now that Sizzla is there, it would feel as if more women will have more active role and more. Why you say that? Why you give the, why that give you the impression that that will happen? Because Sizzla what is it to deeply, if you listen to Sizzla music from an earlier stand. Yeah, but we hear them bridging. Is all right. Like what? Like what? Like black woman and child. Yes, there is a yeah. depth in Sizzler yeah. and a, a space in Sizzler. Then you don't see that depth in a most reggae artist, Bridget. Sizzler is a genuine youth, you know. Sizzler is a genuine Rasta youth who really mean for do something. But when you start talking about now, if you look on the music, the music, I mean, artists sing music, Bridget. Yes, and yeah. Sizzler did not come into Rasta and reggae music out with a negative intention. He no one coming to Rasta with a negative intention. I don't know if no one coming with a negative he, intention. He came with a positive force. Yeah. And that force that he came with enlightened and empowered a whole heap of ones. millions of people whole heap of ones. Yeah. and we feel deeply that most people are judging Sizzler from a dance hall stand why them shouldn't judge Sizzler from a dance hall stand because if you over here yeah. so I sing according to you if you over here so I sing in a reggae music a thing where you would call righteousness and then over here so now you are sing decadence why a man shouldn't we it why them shouldn't wait? Why them shouldn't wait? I have put you, that out to you, you know. You can weigh it, Muta. Yeah, yeah but, but weighing uh, it, there is an aspect of the dancehall world that is just a sense of entertainment. So you don't forget about the part that him then? I would say that that should not be the criteria by which one judges. Mm -hmm. But you know, when I talk about judgment, why, why if a man listen? To a righteous man, I sing something that is deemed decadent. Why is it that you shouldn't rethink your stand and or you see him or you view him? Why is it? Because like if me now start, if me now depend, if me start make some poetry about this and this and this and this and that, why is it that a man shouldn't start say blow bad? I'm going to say them thing the rest of. I never expect Muta to say them something there. No, that disappointing. Why a man shouldn't say that? Why them shouldn't say that? Well, you can say it. If but you, if but you, you shouldn't bother. You must to figure it. You must not bother. You should, you should use that to limit, to limit Muta or to limit Sizzler or to limit anyone. No, oh, you mean not, not limit? Watch your bridging. You, you ever hear Vibes Cartel sang them? You ever listen to any of Vibes Cartel sang them? I have listened to aspect of his music. When you have yeah. Vibes Cartel songs, when you listen to them, you can hear a youth a cry out for ghetto youth in the song them. So why shouldn't I now look and say, 
Yeah, him sing all of them nastiness uh, and thing, but him have some conscious music. He's a conscious youth. Why I shouldn't do that? Well, you can do that but if what? you want to, but, but what? still, I would say you cannot judge the completeness of the bean because of the music. No, but when the bean are, what oh, you mean? Then the music you are used for say him righteous. Are the music you are using him with the same writers, you know? I am not using the music. You are to using say, music for, for, for judge. I am not. No, you are I'm using not, music as a criteria for I'm, its representation. I'm not using Sizzler's music. Yeah, yeah, because you just said you just said that he used the music to convert millions. That is what you say. Well, I no, I I said he used the music and aspect of his music converted a millions. Yes. Of, empowered many. many just like all right just like another artist could have used the music negatively for empower many but yet still in a, that empowerment of negativity or positivity him sing something that is very negative or very positive that people hear it and say oh is this possible where sizzler is concerned muta uh -huh. he has a past and he has a present what you call the past the past is the present. What you call the past? He has the past, the present, and the future. In the Rasta. In, in, in Sizzler the Rasta. is a genuine youth. Sizzler is a genuine youth. As a movement. Sizzler is and, a genuine Rasta youth. And with him being a genuine Rasta, Rasta youth, youth yes. I would love for us to place more emphasis on the genuine Yeah, but it Rasta is... It, but, but, and uh, also be there... Be there, so if he makes there's mistakes, a certain politics, there's a certain there's a certain power. politics that is defining this thing. I right now, brethren, believe you me. I just I got to take up the whole of the program. You know, there's a certain politics that is defining this thing that you can steer in a Connecticut and define this politics because you have other ones who it uh, who it affect deeply that will never ever see it like how you see it. Are uh, the minority who see it that way? There's a genuine feeling that Sizzler is a genuine youth, but there is a certain politics that make this thing uh, have a bitter taste. And in the and in the bitterness of it all, yeah, from bitter comes sweet. Yeah, you can say that. And, and 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 whatever turmoil that we're facing right now yeah. within this particular situation, I now face the turmoil, you know. Well, it was no we, no it, put we now we, you know. I now face the turmoil, you know, Regin. Okay, that means now, you know. I'm glad for see that do him one do do him same I do you know. I'm glad for see that I now fight against him same I do you know. Okay, I now fight we, against that for same I do you know. But when I when I hear a one come and say Sizzler is the head of Rasta. And then now I hear Sizzler say, Sizzler is the president of an organization. And then round the corner now I hear say, it's not really the organization. This is a thing where we are dealing with the totality of Rastafari. I say, no, this can't work that way there. It can't work that way there. So, meanwhile, you say one thing on the top of your song. It don't mean the same thing on the bottom. Because you read some declarations that is put out by the president and him associates. We are defunct everything we have before him. Which do, some of them do have nothing to do with the Naya Bingi house. You see, you make no land fight a committee where in a in a in a in a um in a man to go be you make no land fight the the the, 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 the next committee where it's made up of a whole heap of different Rasta organization. And yeah, you, you also say you use you you use the ticket, you use the pressure and the president. Oh, the treasure can be the president. Well, you know, Muta. Rasta confused, you know. Rasta mix up theocracy you, with democracy. You, you know, Muta. Yeah. Direction is needed. And leaders do have counsel. Yeah, but the council, the council, is a council elect him president, you know. It's not him come up, come say him is the president, you know. It's not, sis, that get up one day and say, watch out, me are the president for Rasta, you know. It's some man... He lick him that. So let me ask you, Muta. Yeah. When Haile Selassie I, as the emperor of Ethiopia, yeah. and is also the, 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 the minister of education. That's a different thing. You have, you have prime ministers who is minister of education. Okay. No organization 
of the president of the is the treasurer. There's nowhere in the world that you have that. The president is the treasurer. Right? No organization sustain and facilitate such a thing. You have the president who is the minister of defense. You have the president who is the minister of education and these things. But what I am seeing is that this theocratic house is, is, is torn between what is supposed to be democracy and what is supposed to be theocracy. Theocracy is where God rule. But only where God can rule in a theocracy if it's a group of priests come together and decide what God say. And I am hearing that this brethren who is the high priest of the theocratic house, which was elected not only by the ones them who get deposed, but the ones them who is in authority now, made this man the, the priest of the theocratic house. That means that him is working with a God line. With the Irish Latin line, and if him said Sizzla is supposed to be the head, Sizzla is supposed to be the head. That is the theocracy. While you have a next group over the other side that said democracy, they must say Sizzla can't be the head unless him is elected by a group, a council. So, right away, you know, you have democracy over there, so I have theocracy over there, so the priest is saying it's theocratic government, so if him said divine just like where you are talking you know you are said divine this and divine that i don't know where to get these things from you know a man just come up with something in my mind and said divine and you're supposed to accept said this is divine that is theocracy that is like iran no most ones don't want the thing run that way manala quote ethiopian constitution rasta not working off of ethiopian constitution i've never worked off of ethiopian constitution the ethiopian constitution is not a theocratic constitution so maybe Rasta is now moving, or the Naya Bingi is now moving within an order where Sizzla and his leaders or group or delegates will now develop a constitution for the Naya Bingi that will be something more valid than what? For, than what it has presently. I'm not develop not more than what is there already, man. The one man quoting the Ethiopian constitution. The Ethiopian constitution is not a theocratic constitution. It's majesty government. It's not a theocratic government. Well, Rasta is not ruled under an Ethiopian constitution. That's what I'm saying to you. It's majesty. But people quote that. Yeah, Rasta who quote that like it's so him around him. Like it's so him want the thing run. Those things is outdated. Whether or not Eilis Lassie did create that or not, this is a new Ethiopia, different thing. We can't use that now for govern we as so now. We have to develop our own strategy. So what I am saying to you now, theocracy in the, in the divine theocratic house of Rastafari, Sizzler is the president. We are saying now, well, we hope that the youth will carry through what is expected of him from these elders who elect him president? The youth is enthusiastic enough. Him have enough youthful exuberance to do certain things. You know, him obviously can make enough money to do certain things. And re, 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 re. And he's hoping that others will help also. But in terms of this idea of leadership, Rastafari leadership, right across the board, where we see the underlying thing happen. Because it's, it's not like a man who push the president for the Naya Bingi order. He might push the president for Rasta. You that is not, that, no, that is not clear because I know that where the bubble shanty stands right now, Coming from King Emmanuel, when I sat with King Emmanuel back in the early 90s, King Emmanuel spoke clearly that the woman, now is the time for women in Rasta to be leaders, to be in, on the forefront. But is a woman was the leader before Sisla, after Naya Bingyos. It was a woman who... Sizzler depose. Or the group of elders say she's of no relevance again. 
I thought she was just a secretary. She was a C secretary. She was a CEO of the Nyabingi House elected according to all them elect people in the Nyabingi House. It's not a minority elector. And everyone was feeling so proud and nice. And yes, see, there, that, them never know that could have possibly in Naya Bingi house that a woman become CEO. And then a group of elders who did agree with it come now and say, look here, we are make that null and void now. It's Sizzler we are working with. So how long will Sizzler be appointed for? Is this a term of four years, Richard, five yeah, years? You have to go find life. these people and ask them. I don't know how them run them internal affairs. I don't know how. I've never been to one of those all who's in favor that put up your hand thing. I've never been there. And what well, time I go to Naya Bing is to be jumps, a bonfire, and bun room, and yam food, and, and, and cusp room. That is all I go to Naya Bing for. Now, as a Rasta woman being a leader in Naya Bingi, I commend Rasta strongly. <coughs> yeah, but well, now, well them, them depose her. Hmm. They make her no love I know. It depends on, the, dep on the website, them too. All the, the names of all the people who is now Lonald Vide is on the websites. The resolution that is put out there against the Millennium Council, against the, the what they call the Carroll Garden um, initiatives, and all of these people was made Lonald Vide by the, 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 present, the present president. See, so there's a new thing that is going to happen now. It's a cleaning of the house now, according to what I see. So it's, well, it's, it's, it's I so do hope cleaning of the house of the Naya Bingi does not exempt the authority of the women in the movement. Well, I and know. Look here. Look here. You see the woman, them, who is part of the, the new face? Is the same elders, them, who was part of that face that elect this, this female? Is the same woman, them, you know? Is the same elders them? It's just that no. I well according to where I hear, you know, Sizzler, you know, fix style it, put on roof and this and that, you know, when them want some money, give them this and that and that. So that is really right there. Well, it's a political thing. Working Emmanuel. So is you know, where, you know where up now. You know where up now. I can tell you what guy up now, and I don't want to put it on it, but I tell you what guy up now. You're going to have voices that is scared to say what they have to say because of fear of retaliation. That is what going to happen because this is what is playing out now. You're going to have people who want to say certain things but don't want to say it because they're scared of retaliation. Because you have some little youth about the place here who come like Taliban. So fundamentalists in them thinking that them do will understand, say, if them take that road, it's the same Babylonian system them going to uphold where them claim say them a fight against. So now them look at you as a Rasta now, as an enemy. You know, see? And this youth is not like old time youth where we say blood and fire. Them mania, them youth, you know, we do things. You understand? So that is the next thing where we have to watch. Where the good in Rasta is concerned, Muta, King Emmanuel lay an order, put down an order, and there is something of King Emmanuel in purification, in righteousness, that any aspect of Rasta that walks in the nature of the Taliban language or the whatever language you use of violence, it still does not stand as station in the movement. Virgin, all them talk the way you talk, me talk about something that is real. Me I said to you that the next stage of this, whatsoever we don't, we don't want to call it, whatsoever we want to call it, is that ones and ones will be so scared that them going just shut them out because that is how politics go. Whether you say it's PNP or GLP or whether you say it's Rasta because there's a certain precedent that has been set over the years you know, that if you don't learn by history, you're going to repeat it. 
And what we're seeing happening now is that apparently you have some Rastas who are aware that them looking, them walking a thin line between Babylon ways and Babylon ways. According to man I lick down Babylon, it's like some people are fighting against Babylon hard, you know, yet still them is more Babylon than Babylon themselves. Look how much DJ around the place now. I talk about love, peace, and understanding. Yet still, when you look on where them are project on them music and them life, you realize it's some mad youth. And me I say right now, we have to be careful that what we hear happening right now don't reach the stage of normal, dirty Jamaican politics. Where you hear Rasta fight against over the years, that them don't fall for it because that is the way of this thing. It's so it go. It do have no other way to go. It's one way it go over the years. There's no reason for free state to change because it's the same situation, power. Well, we, same are going to, we are going to say now, Muta, in conclusion, that there's a path that King Emmanuel. Yeah, but every Rasta don't follow King Emmanuel. Every Rasta don't I, follow King I, Emmanuel. I, I, Speaking of Sizzler at this moment, Sizzler, Sizzler is a Bobo Shanti that walks and know the righteousness of King Emmanuel. Yes, and I'm going to say that in the pathway of King Emmanuel, yes, who have declared that the woman in his movement. And when he spoke of the woman in his movement, there are women today in the movement mm -hmm. that given a chance, given the support, what they will manifest for the movement mm -hmm. will benefit all of well, us. Well, them the resources like Sisla. King Emmanuel resources is stronger than Sizzler, because through the powers of King Emmanuel, Sizzler have developed. No, I had talked about, talk about resources in terms of economics. Yes, economically speaking, yes. I am knowing that with the organized and the centralized nature of the Boboshanti, the resource is there. And the liberty of the movement will attract the resource. It has been Liberty of which movement you are about? Of the Bobo Shanti. But every Rasta is not Bobo Shanti. But I am speaking specifically of the Bobo Shanti. But Chisla is not the head of the Bobo Shanti. He's the president I mean, of the Naya Bingi. He's not the head of the Bobo yeah. Shanti. He's the Naya but, Bingi also he's the head but, of. But he declares himself a Bobo Shanti. Yeah. And I'm saying to you, I have the confidence that if Sizzla in the righteousness of his being, where King Emmanuel is concerned, all the criticism that you or anyone have for him, in the righteousness of King Emmanuel within him, he will do what is right.